Hello everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel. Today is Saturday, June 29th, 2012, and this is a very quick update from the garage. Um, very quickly, I wanted to say that I've uh, still been getting some parts together for the, the e-bike conversion. Uh, right here I have a MY1016 350-watt, 36-volt DC motor with a number 2511 sprocket or 11-tooth sprocket for the drive motor. I received my number 25 chain yesterday and I have been doing some work on the frame that will support the motor above the rear tire behind the seat. Uh, the bike is right here to my left and I've uh, been doing some measurement and continuing the work on that. I will be using my famous constant current pulse width modulator as the motor controller which will prevent an overcurrent condition, obviously, being uh, supplied to the motor. And I may even, be, may, may even try running this 36 mo volt motor from a 48 volt power source, since I can limit the power going to the, uh, to the motor with the, with the current limiter on the, on the pulse width modulator. So that, that turns out to be a very unique feature that may come in very handy in this application. Uh, lastly, some of you may have heard that Russ Grease at rwgresearch.com uh, and a friend of his, Tim Mann, decided to uh, have a, a friendly competition and uh, hold a what he, what he calls a pulse motor build-off. And uh, in looking for a definition of the pulse motor, he went to Wikipedia and couldn't find a definition, so it was basically a no-holes-barred competition. And... Uh, over at his forum that he that he maintains at RWG Research, I guess uh, the whole contest ballooned into a, an open contest where a number of people decided to participate and sort of uh, exploded from from that point there. And uh, quite a few entries came in. Uh, Russ did not have the original person available that he wanted to judge first place. He asked me if I would fill in, and I accepted the challenge. And I look forward to. Uh, judging the entries and seeing, uh, you know, looking at the creativity of all the people who, who created entries. The rules of the game were you had a two-week window in order to create this pulse motor of your own design. I will be uh, judging it on a point-based system. Each, uh, each category will have a specific weight that's given to, the, uh, given to the overall score. I'll be judging it on uh, originality, um, feasibility, uh, does it actually work? Did they actually create a working model? Does it show future potential? And just sheer coolness factor. So, Russ, thank you for the, uh, for the compliments and for the, uh, the invitation to judge the contest. Uh, Russ wants to keep this fun and friendly, and I think Russ succeeded in doing that. So, uh, may the best man win, and I really, I really or best man or woman, maybe the, maybe the best experimenter win, man or woman, and... Uh, Good luck to you all. And uh, the second and third place will be judged by two entirely different people. So if I may ha may express a personal bias in in who I have decided is the first place winner, what appeals to the other two judges for second and third place might be something entirely different. So everybody has a chance to win, and uh, it, it's just a lot of fun. And I expect that he's going to do an awful lot more of these. So Russ, kudos to you. Uh, everybody else who participated, good luck. And uh, those of you who are watching along, if you haven't built something lately, get out there and build something. Because when you build, you learn. And when you learn, you become a better person. That's all for now from the lab. Zero Fossil Fuel, everyone take care. And as always, peace.